All right, uh, welcome back. Um, it's crazy, I was trying to remember whose turn it was it. Um, I think it was my turn, because I think this guy moved. So I'm gonna keep going and get this guy into this building facing this way. I know I have, I'm flanked from behind, but um, that's okay, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. And so we're gonna go ahead and get into that building and um, that cost me uh, two action points and I'm spent, dang it. So I'm flipped over, now it's the AI's turn. What's interesting is, uh, I think that if you read this literally, I can take a free action of any cost with any unit, including spent units. I'm pretty sure that's what this means. And I'm trying to decide, is that something that's going to um, help me any? Um, I don't know if it does. The other thing, um, is these cards have like a little lightning bolt on them. And in the main rule book, there is a, um, a section that explains these various cards and what they do. These are action cards that are played during your turn. Um, the, okay, the plus signs, the bonus cards, don't require an action. That's what that means. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, we've been playing it right. Okay, so now it's their turn, and we're going to reshuffle, which is fine. Uh, the mortar infantry gun furthest from the Los is attacking. I don't think anybody can attack. Well, actually, this one. Uh, AI furthest from the lowest DV unit attacks. Um, this is actually a hard one to decipher. Because whoever's furthest can't attack, but someone that's closer can. So I'm assuming we skip this. AI closest to a unit or mission objective moves towards. So now this one's interesting because we got one that's closer to the mission objective, but the unit's listed first. So this one's actually moving towards and he's gonna get revealed. And this is not good for us because he's in our flank and he is not, um... so let's hope this is a, one of those nothing burgers or one of ours. Oh, we got so lucky. <laughs> All right, it's a nothing burger. Um, that one is golden horseshoe out the you know what right there. Um, so we got lucky. And that means that the chances that a Russian's coming out is even stronger in this one. Uh, the force is even stronger. Okay, so what do we do now? We have... Well, other than sipping my coffee, um, we have to reshuffle. So let's do that while we're thinking about what we're gonna do. We're completely spent on the left side of the board. On the right side of the board, I have an LMG and I have a Pioneer. Even if I want the round to end and I pass, there's no guarantee that the AI is going to pass. So that's it's pointless to pass, in my opinion. You go if you can. So now uh, we gotta decide, is the LMG gonna stay where, he, yes, he is. I'm gonna leave the LMG where he is, and then I'm gonna move, I'm marching the Pioneer forward. And we're gonna come across and let's try to get to this objective. It's just that we keep, we keep uh, getting spent before we get there. So, uh, so for our turn, I'm going to move this particular Pioneer unit uh, here and it's going to be, what is that, a two AP move? So a two AP move. Oh, <laughs> drew the wrong card. Let me just shuffle that one back in. Two AP move. And yeah, we stay active. Good, good, good. All right, so they go. And what do we got? There's no hit AI. There's no attacking happening by anybody. Um, AI closest to a spent unit or mission objective move towards. So, um, I would say that because this one's closest, it's going to just move towards the objective, like so. 
and that is two AP to do, and he is now spent. Oh man, this would have been a great time to get in here because now that he's spent, he can't defend it. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna just start marching across the field here. So that's one AP to go there. Um, yeah, one AP and we're not spent. I'm trying to decide, do I wanna do a free action this uh, of any class with any unit. I think I would want to do that maybe first, right? You would do the free action first and then you would do your real action after. Um, I also still have this frontline officer thing, but uh, I can do that later. Okay, their turn. Unhit AI in closest, in cover closest to a fresh unit. Uh, no one's attacking. AI in zero DM to closest to a unit or mission objective does the lowest uh, move towards cover closest to the target. Well, that's a mouthful, but this is a zero DM uh, closest to a fresh unit would be here, and he would move into cover like that. Oh, sorry, it was off camera. Uh, this guy was in a zero DM and he moved into there. Okay, I'm not interested in revealing him at the moment because I do still have two German units to reveal, but I've revealed a lot of them. And the two that I haven't revealed yet <clears throat> requires a lot of risk to get them revealed. I mean, what's the chances it'll be a German unit versus a, a non-German one? I get one victory point for every German unit that gets to the west side of the map after the Soviet markers have been removed. Um, score when a German unit takes control of a... So they get, at the end of the mission, um, they get a victory point for every German unit that's still in the victory cup. So that is two victory points for them. Interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go, and I'm going to just move there. That's just one AP, and we're fine. It's their turn. Um, are we less than 16? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the board. They have two. Yes, we are. The mission is moving by two. See, this mission is going to end before the round even ends. Um, all right, so we're jumping past Flair. Misinformation. Move the Soviet control marker, prisoners, from hex D05 to hex I05. Uh, D05... That's this one, E, F, G, H. Oh my gosh, it's moving all the way down to here. That's, that's not cool. That wasn't funny at all. So let's refresh our memory. Should the Germans occupy a Soviet control marker Replace the control marker with a German rifle unit. Okay, so um, so the part that sucks is to get to this thing, you've got to go inside of this, this little gauntlet here. All right, well, that sort of changes things. Do I want my pioneer to keep marching across the field, or do I maybe want to change directions and head towards this? Um, hmm. Hmm, indeed. So we got one nothing burger and two Germans. So let's say that I do a perfect draw and I get one nothing burger and two Germans. There's three Russians coming out if I revealed everything along the way. Whew. Well, you know what? This guy is annoying because he's right across the West Line. And if I'm going to be escaping in any fashion, he's going to be a problem. So I'm going to turn... And I'm going to move towards him, out in the open. And uh, that cost me one, and I'm not going to do any uh, free actions yet. So uh, we got a four. I'm still active. His turn. Oh, look at this. It's moving again, twice. 
So moving twice, he's going to score the victory hex and then shuffle order cards one and two into the order deck. Okay, order cards one and two are just two of those blue order cards. So he's got two new blue cards being added in. Oh, hey, by the way, I killed three of their units and I forgot about this. So I'm gonna just take those two blue cards and take them out of the game. And uh, this one's also gonna go out of the game. So, uh, actually I'm gonna take these two out and I'll put one and two in. Because there might be different commands on them or something. Uh, we're supposed to take a blue card out every time you eliminate one of their units. So that's what I was forgetting to do. So three of the blue cards are now removed. Uh, but then we just added two more in. And they scored two more victory points because they still control the objectives. Um, I would say, I mean, this mission's over halfway over. I'm in round one. We have yet to pass. And I'm losing. Badly. So, uh, don't like this. This is uh, similar to my experience when I played the first time. Uh, I, I mean, it's just the, the mission's just spiraling out of control, and I got spent, and I can't move hardly any of my units, and all I'm doing is running across the field, I get stopped. I run across the field, I get stopped. I run across the field, I get stopped. And then the mission objective marker is really close to being at the end of the mission. I mean, how is this fun? That's the part that uh, drives me nuts. Um, okay. Well, Jeff, you need to be smarter. There is no, no being smarter on this. I could pass right now, and it doesn't do me any good. I cannot force the round to end. That's, that's my frustration. All right, uh, we are on their turn. Hit AI. AI closest to a unit or mission objective moves towards. Um, so this particular one is spent. So we're going to do this one. He's moving towards and he's going to get revealed. And it is a Russian rifle. All right. It is our turn. I'm going to do a free action and I'm going to attack. So I have a four plus a three is seven against his 12. Uh, 12 minus 7 is 5. I'm looking at great odds. And I just rolled a 10. So I critically hit him, and he's destroyed. And I get to remove whatever the next blue uh, is. So a blue command card is out of the game. And I'm going to shuffle. All right, that was an excellent use of a free command. And I'm going to... Move one. And we're fine. Okay, it's their turn. All right, so unhit AI and closest... and cover closest to a fresh unit fires. All right. This one could fire on us, except the problem is, is it's, uh, we're out of his line of sight. Uh, we did fire, and there was a muzzle, but remember, it was back here, and we moved since then. Um, zero DM, low risk move towards cover. This one is not zero. That's not zero. This one is. And hit AI and closest in cover, closest to a fresh unit. Um, it would be this one, so he's going to move into cover, like so. And that cost him 2 AP, and he's still active. So now it's our turn, and we're going to go ahead and move into cover. That cost us 2 AP. Well, actually, there's a road, so no. It's just 1 AP, and boom, we got lucky. All right, it is his turn. Execute counter action, so... Player did not pass. Uh, this counteraction is one of the ways we can get him to pass. So had I passed, 
uh, he could have possibly passed. But not in this situation, he would not have. This would have prevented him from passing. But it is possible to get him to pass through this. Um, so let's see, AI closest to unit that fired. We did not fire, so uh, we skipped this. There's no hit AI. AI closest to unit that just acted, low risk move towards. Um, now this is gonna be an interesting one. A low risk move, uh, this is less cover, so I don't think he would do a low risk move in that direction. Um, he will not move into short range inside the target's fire zone. He is in our fire zone. He will not move, he will move into a non-fire zone hex, then we'll move into a fire zone hex that has the same or higher DM, then we'll move towards the target's flank or pivot. Okay, so what he could do, a low risk move for him in this situation, since he's in our fire zone, is to actually move out of it. So I move away. Um, I don't think it was, no, it says low risk move towards. So that means he has to be less, uh, so he won't move away. Low risk move towards could just be this, which is the same. Uh, it's not really a move. So we're gonna go ahead and say he's not gonna do it. So that means uh, he actually passed. Actually, he executes mission orders. All fresh RE with the same symbol as the active order card symbol. Move two hexes towards the nearest control marker. Make one spent check for all RE. Holy cow, all fresh RE with the same symbol. So the symbol is a diamond. Okay. These REs, like for example, this one's a circle. Um, that one's a triangle. You can see a little symbol right there at the top. So all the diamonds are gonna move two spaces towards the nearest control marker. So this one is gonna go one, two onto the control marker. Uh, none of these other ones are moving. And then I'm going way over here. This one is a diamond, so he's gonna go one, two towards this control marker. And then basically we're gonna do one spent check for all of them. So I guess we use the worst case one, so that would be two movement is two AP points, and then they moved into a building, which is three AP points, and they pass. Uh, otherwise, all of them that moved would have been spent. That would have been nice. Okay, it's our turn. And I think uh, this is where I sort of wish I had another action. I was thinking of maybe um, moving in with my bonus action, reveal him, and then kill him, right? But I can't quite do that. So I am going to move in, though. So we're going to move in right here. And let's reveal what this guy is. And we get a German. Oh, we are in business now, baby. So we got a German, but he obviously needs to get to the other side of the, the Western line. But we just revealed a German. Very helpful. And we still got a lot of work to do to get these guys rescued. So uh, that move, by the way, only cost me one, and we're good. Uh, I think I want to get that German out of there, but maybe we want to rescue somebody first. Hmm. All right, well, it doesn't matter. It's their turn. Mission objective is moving by one. I mean, like I said, this game's going to just end. Uh, so it's moving here. MIA, replace a German unit in the RE Cup with a no enemy counter. Soviet AI receives one victory point. So, damn it. So the Soviets are up to six victory points. And that means our other German guy is gone. We have no Germans left in the cup. So uh, we got every German out of that cup. So they're not going to get victory points for that. So this rifle is now out of the game for us. Or at least not available. Oh, where's my... 
rifle guys. There. And then we gotta take one of these and put it in. So looking at the cup, we got two nothing burgers and one, two, three, four, five Russians. All right, and so here's the good news, I guess. They scored a victory point, that's not good, but uh, they're not gonna score one later if he was still in the cup. Ah, six or one half. I score a bunch of victory points. If I can get both of these objectives revealed, these control markers, for everybody that's west of the line. Uh, that part's great, but uh, getting these revealed is turning into quite a challenge. So, um, oh, I do get another card, because I got another thing from the cup. Uh, swift action, take an extra turn. Take two consecutive turns, skipping an opponent's turn. Play this card at the beginning of the first turn. So that's nice, but it does cost one cap. Right now I have zero cap. Um, I can do this to get that cap. Um, that would be an interesting idea. So, actually I wanna do that now. So it's my turn and I will do that. I, I'm gonna do frontline officer with the new guy that just got revealed. Uh, actually I'll do it with the, yeah, the new guy that just got revealed. It's a two AP action. I'm gonna roll 1d6, and I get two cap points for that. So I'm up to two. Uh, unfortunately, that's my whole action. And so then he is not spent. Now the AI goes. Highest attack rate, uh, closest to a fresh unit that just acted. So the highest attack rating is this guy. Uh, we're three spaces away, he can't attack. Um, highest AR, furthest from, yeah, they can't attack, so they're going to go to me execute mission orders. This is the, um, the weird symbol thing again. So now the circle ones are going to move. So the guys with the circles are moving, so this one's going to go there. Uh, this one is going to go there. And this one's gonna move two to there. I mean, it's just getting ugly. And that was three of them. And what, what kind of AP do I use for this? Three guys just moved. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Uh, it was two AP to go there and then two more AP because of the building. So that's a four AP move. And I drew a five. So all of them stay alive. I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, so it's my turn, and I think I'm going to... Now, there is this thing called a group move. Um, let's look up what a group move does, because we may want to do a group move. In fact, maybe I should have been doing a group move all along. Units may take any action as a group, including moving, only if they're in the same or contiguous hexes. Units in the same group and pay only the AP cost of the moving unit with the highest cost. So that's how I've been doing it for the Russians. So um, this is a case where all four of these can move forward. So this is actually quite powerful and I actually should have done that, I think, before now. So that's my bad. I, I think that would have made this scenario go a little bit better on me for me. So I'm gonna do a group move. And my group move is, I'm gonna do this. And so this move here is two AP, so that's a two AP move. And there's a three, so we'd stay unspent. Um, so we're gonna group move up, because uh, I think that's how I'm gonna rescue these guys, is we're gonna do some, some uh, attacking and other stuff. So this guy is in the open, and he's two away, so he gets revealed. And this is, odds are very bad in my favor. And we got a nothing burger. So uh, I'm very happy with that. But at the same time, that just means it's getting worse and worse that these guys are going to be a stack of Russian doom. Um, 
Okay, so it's their turn now. Uh, if AI plus units is less than six, I don't think that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have, I have a seven myself. Um, so we keep going down the line. Fresh AI is less than fresh units. Uh, one, two, oh, that's not the case. We only have two, three fresh units. Um, there's no hit AI. AI closest to a hit unit, nope. AI closest to unit move towards. Okay, so this is getting interesting. Uh, AI closest to a unit or a mission objective. These guys are just one space away from a mission objective, and so is this one. So uh, even, odd. Even, I have a stack of three all on that mission objective. That's crazy. All right, so uh, here we go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do swift action. I'm going to do a group move and then take another turn. So I'm gonna do a swift action. I'm gonna spend one of my cap points I just got. We're gonna do a group move. Ugh. Yeah, like that. It would have been really nice if the Pioneer was the one up front but just not gonna work out that way. So we're doing a group move like so, and I don't think I can do a group attack. Let me, let me check, because I think the group attack can only be done if the Pioneer has line of sight, and this building is blocking line of sight. Do I wanna do this? That's the question. Let me look this up real quick. Yeah, the target has to be in your fire zone in order to give a plus one AR. Um, so right now, let's move this out of the way. This center dot, actually no, it goes right along the, the spine here. With the way these hexes are laid out, it goes along the spine. So that is in his AR, so we can do it. So there's a group move. Uh, that is uh, just one AP, and we are fine. So I'll be able to take another turn with that unit. And then what happens is, is all three of these are being revealed. So I'm gonna just take all three of these, put them back in the cup, and then we're gonna draw three from the cup. There's guaranteed to be a Russian here, or at least two Russians, I'm thinking, if not maybe even three. So here's one, two, and three. So yes, there goes another nothing burger. And I, don't, I think it is nothing but Russians from here on out. So. We actually have a rifle, two rifle 41s. They're both gonna come out here, but now with my next action, I'm going to do a group attack. So he's gonna add a plus one to him. So that is a three plus a three, which is a six against a 12 and a 12. And then this makes it a 13. So 13 minus six is seven. I am spending a cap point to make it a uh, plus one. And uh, the rules do say that when I'm adding a plus one with my command points, it's only gonna count against the first unit I attack. So I'll just do whatever unit's on top. So I'm gonna, I need a, I think I said a six to hit uh, both of them. I technically only need a five to hit the top one. So here we go. All right, I rolled a really healthy nine. Very happy with that. Nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, and then this makes it 15. 15 to 13, cha-ching. We hit him and him, so they're both hit. And I'm gonna just put them like this for now. We know they're on the control marker. And this was three action points. So we draw and we're still active. Okay, so now it's his turn, and we are here, so they're going to try to rally. Uh, it is only one unit that's going to rally, so um, even odd. It's even. It's going to be this one, and his affliction is that he's just pinned, so we're going to try to rally him. He needs a seven or better. He rolled a five, and he failed, 
So well done. And uh, the rally cost five AP. So he failed. So not only did he not rally, but he's now spent on top of it. Okay, so we at least know what this one's got. Uh, it is our turn and we're gonna do a group attack. Same deal, we're attacking both of them. I think we said I need like a six or better. And cha ching I rolled a 10. Uh, both units are gonna be eliminated. So this is, this is the luck we needed right here. Um, and that one was panicked and actually had an even better roll for us. So um, the fact that they grouped up like that actually helped us because now you can kill two birds with one attack. Um, so these two units are gone. And by eliminating two units, I'm gonna grab a blue card and another blue card. They're both eliminated from the deck and then reshuffle. All right, so that was my group attack. I have a, uh, that was three action points. Oh, I keep grabbing the wrong card. I'm shuffling the cards I need to draw. Um, so my idea is, is let's get one of these control points at least revealed um, and then get them out of dodge, right? That's the idea. Let's get them out of dodge. And then uh, let's go after the other control point and then somehow win this game. So... All right, here is our reveal, and gosh darn it, we're spent. So both of us are spent. One space away from the control point. Okay, um, it is now their turn. If AI plus units is less than six, not the case. Uh, fresh AI is less than fresh units. Um, well, if you're counting the unrevealed enemies, the answer is no. There is no hit AI. AI closest to a hit unit. Um, there's no attacking in that situation. Uh, they're going to move towards a unit or mission objective, whoever's closest. And I think it's this one, so he's going to move onto the mission objective. All right, so it's our turn, and I think uh, we're going to pass. I'm not going to move that LMG from the other flipping end of the map. Um, I'm passing. So now we go to them again, and no attack. Uh, there's no hit AI. There's no attack. Execute mission orders, which is the diamond. Uh, there is a diamond, but he doesn't move at all. Move two hexes towards the nearest control marker. Uh, he doesn't even move. Um, so uh, he doesn't do the action. So he passes. We're at the end of the round. So we got lucky. He couldn't do any of the orders. So uh, we're at the end of the round. Um, we lost zero units. So our cap. I think is six, no, it's seven. So we go back up to seven on our cap, which is nice. Um, and that's it. We don't get to draw any cards or anything crazy like that. Uh, everybody refreshes, including this Russian that's all the way up here. Roll for initiative. I failed, so Russians go first. Okay, so they are right next to us, so they're going to attack. And um, this might be bad. So it's a three. Plus a three is six against our 14. So 14 minus six is eight. Uh, eight's still a healthy number. But let's see what he does. Uh, he rolled a six. So uh, he failed to hit us. And that was a four AP action. And he drew a four. So he spent. So we got very, very lucky there. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a group move, largely because this Pioneer needs to go this way, so uh, they're both gonna move like this. And the good news is that that moves the Pioneer closer to where he needs to go. And then we revealed the control marker. Um, <clears throat> so that's now done. And a rifle unit is now appearing because that's who we just rescued was a rifle unit. And let's see, we, they score a victory point every time they eliminate one of us uh, when the mission marker passes and at the end of the mission. We get four victory points immediately when a German unit takes control of a Soviet control marker. All right, so we get four victory points right now, which is helpful because they were screaming ahead of us here. So one, two, three, four, they're still winning the game, but we at least made it uh, decent. So we uh, got that, and uh, that is our move. So that was two action points. So let's see if we get spent. And we would have, except we're playing with the green check mark. So the green check mark is a go for us. So now they go. And yes, the mission marker is moving ahead again. Uh, and so what it says is we have to place an RE. So I rolled a three. So that means one of these is coming out and the three spot is, oh gosh darn it, it's, it's right where we are. So we have a unit there, so we have to roll again. I rolled a six this time. So he's appearing right here. That's where he goes. So he's sort of in the middle of nowhere there. Okay, so what's he gonna do? Execute counteractions. Okay, we never fired and we didn't pass. So, highest AR, hit AI. There's no hit AI. Highest AR AI closest to a hit unit. <clears throat> um, there's nobody who can attack, nobody who can attack. So now we're gonna do mission orders, it's a circle. So the circle, this one's gonna move one, two spaces, like so. And then this one is a triangle. All right, so then the uh, circle uh, basically went two AP. And we drew a three, so he's fine. And now it's our turn. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, so when I do a group move, can they go in different directions? I don't think they can. Okay, it does say that you can separate. Um, the, the thing is, is you can no longer group move. So here's what's interesting. So I can group move like this. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward here, and then these two will move up to there. So then I can still group move again um, after this. So uh, by doing so though, this was a two AP move right there. And I drew the stinker of all stinkers. So we are spent. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, I needed to get them over. This was my best hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, that hurts. Okay, so now it is their turn. All right, they're gonna try to execute counter actions. I don't think there's anything to do. We did not pass, we did not fire. Um, there's no fresh unit that they are next to. A zero DM, that would be this one or this one. Uh, low risk move towards cover closest to the target. Um, unit or mission objective. So it would be obviously the mission objective. Okay, even odd. I did odd. 
So this one moved in. All right, and then that would be, it's a two plus one, it's a three AP. He's okay. Now it's our turn. These guys can't do anything. Uh, that stinks. Uh, do I wanna try to kill off this Russian? Mm, I think yes I do. Yes I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack with him to here. So this is a five against a uh, 12. 12 minus five is seven. So I'm looking at a seven attack. Um, you know what? I just realized something. And it does mean I'm gonna renege a turn. And uh, I, I know some of you get upset about this, but um, I have seven command points. And one of the things I can do is I can spend them to auto pass an AP check. This was only a two AP move that we did here. So I would just spend two command points so that move was free and, and I don't fail the check. This was critical. I hope you guys can appreciate that. That's way more critical than anything else to do in this game. So I'm gonna spend command points to guarantee that these guys can get to their targets. So I'm gonna do another move a group move, and this one's only gonna be one action point. And I'm actually going to spend one command point just to not even have to draw the card. And I hope you can appreciate the strategy there. Um, that's important. It is important for me to get to the objective and to win this game. And to get these guys across the west line and all that other nonsense. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And that's my turn. Okay, so now it's their turn. We're gonna reshuffle. Uh, we are next to somebody, uh, but he can't attack because we're in his flank, so he's going to pivot. So this guy here is going to pivot to there. And that's his whole action. And we're going to reshuffle now. All right, so now what do I do? I got this guy uh, pointing at me. Pointy, pointy. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just move away from him because then he can't, he can try to hit me, but he's not gonna get any, get anywhere with it. Um, rather than trying to attack him, just avoid him. What I wanted to do was keep moving these guys and get them to safety first before I move my pioneers. But pioneers, I think, are gonna move first. All right, let's give a few more shuffles here. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's my turn, and I'm going to move the Pioneer away from him, so we're no longer, uh, I'm going to disengage, if you will, and in doing so, uh, that's only a 1 AP move. Uh, I'm going to take my chances, and it's a 5. I'm good. All right, so his turn. Uh, we are not less than six, so we're good there. See, these two don't apply anymore. Uh, fresh AI, AI is less than fresh units. Now, this is an interesting one. The fresh AI now is one, two, three, four. Four fresh AI against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of ours are fresh. The AI passes. That's very interesting. So if I wanted to, I could pass now and that would actually end the round. Um, so what's interesting is had I not reneged that turn, I actually would have been able to survive anyways. Um, but that's okay. I, I still think that what I did by re redoing that turn was the right thing to do. Um, had I not done that, I probably would have killed this unit up here which would have given me small cash and prizes. Okay, so now I'm at a point where this guy can go or that guy, and I, I want to do both, but I can only do one, and I think it's more important because as soon as this victory point gets taken, I score victory points for whoever's west of the line immediately. Not uh, now, it's immediately. Um, yeah, it's immediate. So I'm gonna do a group move 
here for one AP. And I'm good. Um, and I'm sort of moving diagonal because it's just as equidistant as going this way. I want to avoid this because this is for sure going to be a German, or I'm sorry, a Russian. Uh, actually, there is one of these I forgot to add, so I got to put that in. So there are, yep, there's four tokens, and uh, one of them is a nothing burger. Okay, so. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's the AI's turn. Okay, we are probably less than 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We're close, we're at 11, but see, look, it's moving two again. This thing just will not stop. So one, two. Units in AI can see others in open terrain at any distance for this AI and the next player turn. Ooh. Okay, well then we gotta stop immediately because um, this guy up here, if you follow the line straight, it's all open terrain. Oh, I'm sorry, it's gotta go through this building. So he's still hidden, but this one's revealed now. I gotta reveal this one right away. Uh, he's seen by him and by him. So, it's all Russians and one nothing burger. So, we have a real good chance we're going to reveal a Russian here. And it is a Russian. So, he wants to face the direction that has the most units in his, I would say, this way. Because if you go this way, he's got one, and this way he's got two. And then that leaves two behind him out of his flank. All right, so now uh, next is he is going to pass because he still has this situation. And so he will pass. Now it's our turn. Okay, technically speaking, we can shoot across the map and we can try to take out, you know, that guy out in the open field. But as soon as uh, our turn is over, we're back to hidden again. All the flares are gone. So I'm just gonna keep moving. We're gonna group move one space to here. It is only one action point. I will take the chance. Well, you know what? I got four command points still. I really feel like I need to save them for when he's moving. <sighs> yeah, it's only one. Good, good, good. We survived. Okay, so now everybody's hidden again. It's his turn. Look at this nonsense. Move is two again. So, one, two. Um, uh, this here, they score a point because they still have one control marker. Uh, that's from this spot. And then here it says, replace a German unit in the cup with a no enemy counter. Soviet AI receives one victory point. Uh, I'm assuming that this second statement is dependent on the first. There are no Germans left in there, so there's no MIA to score. And then they're going to pass. <clears throat> and now I got to look at this uh, West thing. So when it says exits the West side of the map. Okay. See that big yellow banner on the road? It says Germans that are on the west of row 10, on or west of row 10. Okay, row 10 is the road. So all I have to do is move one more space, and I don't care if they're spent anymore, because they are now um, uh, escaped, because they're on the road. So uh, we did one more group move. Uh, that is one AP. And we are not spent. And I think after doing that move, I'm going to make sure they're rotated this way because that would be problematic. And um, now it's the AI's turn. 
and they're going to execute counter actions. We did not pass. We did not fire. Uh, they're going to do a low risk towards the unit or a mission objective. Uh, well, in this case, there's still one here who's going to move to the mission objective. So we've got a big stack of doom here. Okay, it is our turn, and we're going to go ahead and move to there. That cost us one AP. Do I want to spend a command point? My answer is yes, I'm going to spend one. I have three left. Uh, I cannot afford to go uh, missing now or to, to be spent. So we're going to do that. Now it's their turn. Reshuffle the deck. Uh, ding, 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 ding. There's no hit AI. Um, AI closest to the lowest DV fresh unit, attack. Well, this one can attack. It is not the lowest DV unit though. I have lower than 12. Uh, there's a lowest one is way up here. So, This is where it's weird. I have a lower one. It's just that he can't attack the lower one, but he can attack this one. So um, I'm going to say he does not attack because this one is not the lowest DV unit. And it says closest to the lowest DV. See that? Closest. Actually, it doesn't attack the, the lowest DV. It's whoever's closest to it. And that would be this unit up here. Okay, He can't attack anybody. So, yeah, so we skip this. Mobile AI, closest to a fresh unit that just acted. Move towards. Well, this is the fresh unit just acted, and mobile AI are all of these, all three of these. So uh, they're going to move towards, and um, we got a little bit of a pickle because there's three of them that could do that. Actually, a lot more. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to just roll a die, and I'll re-roll for a six. And I rolled a six, three. So one, two, three. So this guy on top is moving one step towards us. Um, hmm, interesting. That is a very interesting situation. Uh, what do we do? Well, first of all, let's uh, do... That's a three AP move for him, and he's actually spent. Oh, I'm sorry, this one doesn't move, he's spent. So that means this one would have moved, and he would have been revealed. So let's do that. It's the nothing burger, so we got lucky. All right, uh, now what's our turn? Uh, we're going to spend two AP doing this, and I'm spending my two Command points, I have one left, uh, so we don't have to fail any checks. And yes, we are next to them, and this one gets revealed now. And we for sure know that's going to be a Russian unit. It has to be. There's only two in the cup. And it is the NKVD, which is a bad baddie. Um, all right, so he's there. So chances are we're going to probably get attacked, and this isn't good. This is where it would be really nice to have... Um, a bonus action, right? Because we moved in next to them, but they're going to get to attack us first. But let's see what happens. Uh, we're not less than four, so this doesn't happen. Uh, they're going to rally or attack. So they're going to attack. So this is where we got to cross our fingers a little bit. Um, he has a three plus a three, which is a six. Okay, we have a 12... Plus a 1 is 13. So 13 minus 6 is 7. Um, so a 7 or better, he hits us. Uh, that's still pretty decent odds for him. It's not great odds, but, uh, you know, he has a better chance to hit us than not. And here we go. Let's see what he does. And I rolled a 9. So he, he did hit us. So now we got to assess our damage. And, oh my gosh, we're unnerved. So, I mean, we are one hit away from dying or getting killed, but it didn't do anything to us. This was an amazing pickup. This was really fantastic. Okay, 
So now here's what's crazy. We could, it's our, well, first of all, he attacked with a four, so he is now spent. Am I zoomed in? No. Let me get you closer here. Okay, so he's now spent. Both of the, his units are spent. So uh, we're in fantastic shape. So I was going to consider doing this where uh, I still have a rally up card, so I can um, remove or try to remove this rally marker, but that's my whole turn. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go in for close combat. Since they're both spent, they can't attack me. So I'm gonna go in for close combat and, uh, and we got ourselves a nice little, uh, actually, no, I don't wanna do that. Here's why. When I'm in close combat, you only battle one of these at a time. I'm gonna attack from here and then that lets me hit both of them at the same time. So I'm gonna attack from here. It's a four plus three, it's a seven, which is really nice. And um, so yeah, we're gonna do a seven against them. And I'll spend my last command point to make one of them an eight. And it'll be against the NKVD. Or it'll actually be against the machine gun. Let's do it against the machine. No, the NKVD, we'll do it against him. All right, so I got a seven. Uh, this guy is a 13. Yeah, we're definitely doing it against the NKBD. So that'll make him a 12. So both of these, 12 minus 7 is 5. So a 5 hits them both. And a 9 obliterates them. Oh my gosh, did you see what I just rolled? <laughs> that is amazeballs right there. All right, I got a 12. So I just obliterated both of them. They both got critically killed. And um, so we're going to take them both out. And that means um, two blue cards gets taken out of their stack, which is always sweet. And then we reshuffle their order deck. All right, um, now we gotta make sure uh, we don't lose. So uh, I have no command points left. So we're gonna draw, and if we get a two or a less, uh, I'm gonna become spent. Just one step away from my goal. <laughs> oh. But I'm still happy. This scenario is actually working out for us. That mission marker is just moving way too fast to my liking, though. Um, this game could have easily have been lost in so many ways. Um, all right, so we go to here. Uh, we reveal, and boom, we got a five. We are not spent. So now it's their turn, and ooh, that would have hurt us badly, but we're okay. All right, so um, execute counter actions. We did fire, so they're gonna fire at us or move towards whoever fired. Uh, this one can fire at us, because we're two spaces away, and he's actually flanking us. So we have to reveal this unit, which is going to be whatever Russian units left in here. And that's going to be a rifle unit. So he will fire uh, three against 13. So that means he needs a 10 or better. Um, so he got an eight. So we're fine. Um, a little close for comfort, but we're fine. Did I do that right? This was a 13, that's a three. Yeah, I did that right. So uh, we survived. All right, so now that was four action points and he ruled five, so he's not spent. It's our turn and we're gonna go ahead and move here, which is gonna cost us two action points, but we get this Soviet control marker and we just scored four victory points immediately. One, two, three, four, and then also immediately one victory point for each German that exists in the west side of the map after the Soviet control markers have been removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two plus seven is nine victory points. Uh, we're, we're dominating right now. And then this actually becomes we have a German rifle unit now with us. 
And we're going to go ahead and turn these guys around so that way we're not flanked. All right, now if I want these guys to be with us in the next mission, I got to get them escaped. But we at least scored a boatload of victory points. And um, uh, we got to see if we're expired, we're not. And now it's their turn. Are we less than or equal to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's like 13, so nope. Uh, fresh AI is less than fresh units. That is true. They only have three, and we have way more than three. So they're passing, and uh, I don't want to pass yet. So uh, we're moving on. So I can do a group move, and I will do a group move. I think I want to do a rally up first. So let's play this uh, so I can get healed so I don't lose my guy. And I failed. So that didn't do any good. I probably should have group moved, but that was stupid on my part. Um, yeah, because this we're getting close to the end of the mission, and I probably shouldn't piss around. Uh, execute counteractions. Nope. Right here. Low risk move towards us. So which one would do that? One, two, three, or one, two, three, four. This one would. The problem is, is this is moving into our line of fire. Is it? Can we? Yeah, we go right along the spine there. Um, he it, A low risk move never moves into line of fire. So he can't do that. He can't do a low risk move. So he passes. Now you might argue, okay, but this one can do a low risk move towards us and he can, but he's not the closest. So if you're following the, the rules to the strictest uh, definition, uh, he would pass. This might be a case though where we may wanna trump it with common sense. Common sense says this guy would move one step closer. So let's do that. Uh, he moves one step closer. All right, so it's our turn, and I wanna do a group move and get away from these guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and move here for just one action point. And uh, we stay alive. Now it's their turn. Uh, this doesn't happen. He passes. Okay, now we're gonna move one action point to there. Stay alive. Nothing happens, he passes. We're gonna move one action point to there. We stay alive. His turn. Low risk move towards. Well, that would be this guy. He can easily move here. This building is blocking line of sight, so he's not in a fire zone. And we're gonna go ahead and go again to here. And we're fine. His turn. <laughs> Unhit AI closest to the unit that just acted, move towards. So he's gonna move towards us. We're now in his line of fire, but that's okay. We're uh, just gonna move again to there and get out of his line of fire again. That's a one AP move. We got a three. It's his turn. This one's an unhit AI furthest from a unit or mission objective, low risk move towards. So furthest would be one, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six, seven. So this one would move forward. Okay, so now we're getting to a point where, yeah, we're running away from him, but all of our units have escaped. But the mission's not over. It doesn't end until the marker gets there. So now I'm sort of wishing that it would end, right? Um, but I think what I want to do now is I'm going to actually turn and move this way uh, so I can, uh, I'm going to annihilate this Russian unit on my way out. Um, so we're going to head up towards him. And we became spent. Oh my gosh. 
We're now spent. So it's his turn. And... I mean, he can't attack us. Execute mission orders. Uh, it says an all fresh RE. There are no RE. He passes. He can't do any of these. So he passes. And then what I'm going to do strategically is I'm going to pass as well. So uh, I get seven APs back. And yeah, his unit becomes fresh here. But so do ours. So let's roll, see who goes first. I rolled a seven, so he's gonna get to go. And uh, we're flanking him, so I don't have to worry about him killing my unit that's already damaged. And uh, here we go. So uh, he is going to either rally or attack or pivot. So uh, in this case, he's going to attack. So he's going to attack here. Three plus three is six against 12 plus 2 is 14. So 14 minus 6 is 8. Um, now, technically, this die is halfway up and down, but I'll count it that he hit us. So uh, we got an 8. So let's... Uh, we're pinned. So the pinned means that we can't move, but it doesn't hurt our attack values or anything. And then now it's, uh, well, let's see if he's spent. And he is. He's already spent. Now it's our turn, and we're going to just attack him from behind. We're going to do a group attack here with the flamethrower guy being in the lead. And we're going to attack him from the rear, so he's, uh, he's toast. So we're attacking with a four uh, plus three because we're one space away is seven. And then this is a group attack, so that makes it an eight. Um, he's at an 11, and he's out in the open, so 11 minus 8 is 3. Here you can see I got a 5, so we hit him at least once. And just because I'm, I'm being a meanie, I'm going to play my luck card. Oh my gosh, I rolled a 1. Do you know what that means? I subtract 3 from my roll. <laughs> oh, I ended up having bad luck. So I didn't hit him at all. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And then uh, look at this, I become spent. That makes it even worse. So now I'm spent. All right, it's his turn. Uh, definitely not less than four. Um, Counteractions. Yes, we fired. So they're going to move towards us, but which one moves towards us? The AI closest. So this one's moving towards us. So we're now, he's now flanking us, which is bad. And that was two AP for him. He's still active. So now it's our turn. So what do we do? Well, I, there's a part of me, it's like, well, we can either try to finish this guy off or we come in and, you know, try to protect our guys there. Um, oh, actually, one good news is these are actually uh, light forests, so they're blocking line of sight. So the guy would have to move towards us to be able to hit us. Oh, what's the right move here? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and... That guy's spent, so I'm not really worried about the spent guy. This guy's been hit, so I, I'm a little concerned about him. I'm going to just move forward for one AP. All right, I survived. His turn. There we go. Are we less than 16? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, we are. It moves by two. So let's do that. 
So one more RE is coming in. But here's what's crazy. The RE comes in, however, it's, a, uh, it's an unknown. We know that because the cup's empty, right? They've all been exposed. So it's, it's an unknown. We know it's unknown. But for the AI purposes, this guy is actually going to act and move around and do stuff. So that three puts him right here which actually reveals him right away because as you can see, he's next to a unit. So he gets revealed right away and we realize he's a nothing burger and then <laughs> nothing happens. So that was a weird sequence of events. Okay, and then um, he is actually going to pass. And uh, cause that's what happens. Fresh AI, it's less than fresh units, AI passes. And I think what I'm gonna do, uh, if I was smart, I probably should pass right now uh, but I got my LMG lined up to uh, annihilate him. So I'm going to attack with my LMG. So this is uh, 4 plus 3 is 7 against him. And so 7, he has an 11. So 11 minus 7 is 4. Uh, and I rolled a 10. So I completely eliminated that unit. So let me make sure I'm sorting these properly. That's a lot of Russian riflemen that we just took out. All right, so uh, we completely eliminated him, which means we get rid of a blue card. And as you can see, there's not a lot left. There's one more there, and there's, there's only one blue card in the entire deck right now. Um, Okay, so uh, we eliminated him, and we're gonna have to draw. Yeah, I'm shuffling the cards I have to draw. And it's only, this was only a two action point thing. So, all right. We draw, and I got a six. So, um, we're fine, now it's his turn. And actually, we're praying for the mission clock to move right now. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere that I saw that uh, if everybody exits the map, the mission ends immediately. I wish I would see that somewhere, but I don't think I do. Uh, okay, so... Counteractions is this guy would fire or move towards. So he's gonna to move towards, unfortunately. And so that's two AP for him. Nothing happens. So now it's our turn. And this is where we're in a little bit of a pickle because we're flanked here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up like so. Uh, I'm a little late, I can't do much, but that's all I can do. I do have seven command points, so I'm gonna spend one of them so I don't get spent on this. And now it's his turn, and let's hope the game ends, and it does not. And here you can see there's an attack action. He's going to attack into here and possibly kill our unit. Um, I do not think I can spend cap points to, um, protect myself here. I can't change his die roll. And I don't think I can spend cap points to improve my defense. So we're actually in a pickle here. We gotta hope he rolls very poorly. Um, so he's got a three, plus a three is a six against a 12. And an 11. So the unit that's injured, is it my Pioneer or is it the other one? I thought it was the Pioneer. So the Pioneer's injured. This one's not. So uh, 12 and 11 uh, against a 6. So that would be, what, a 6 and a 5? Those are pretty good numbers to roll. I mean, what's the chances of not rolling those? That's pretty bad for us. In fact, he could even kill us outright. Well, let's see what he does. He rolled an eight. So the Pioneer unit is destroyed. And then this unit takes a hit.
and it's suppressed. Uh, unfortunately, that Pioneer unit was awesome. I, uh, I'm very sad to have lost the Pioneer unit. So, so now that brings up the question, was, was I able to end this mission earlier? Is there a rule that allows me to do that? And in fact, I'm gonna check it now because that's how desperately I don't want to lose that Pioneer unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop in an hour anyways, and let me just look in the rules and see if there's a way I could end this mission earlier. Uh, otherwise, um, we'll be back and we'll just keep playing and praying that uh, that clock moves. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, stay awesome.